You found Striker of Enyo, and the following is an excerpt from my main video, I Play Every Xbox Live Arcade Game Part 1, a massive three-hour experience that I encourage you to check out if you like what you see here. This is just a small segment, or it may be a collection of content from that larger video. Check my channel for more. Dr. Mingus. Afterburner Climax from Sega. This was originally an arcade game that released in June of 2006, and it made its way to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 digital storefronts in 2010. It moves fast, it's flashy, and it looks amazing. And it's delisted. Aw, oh, man. Well, that was quick. By December of 2014, it was removed, only being on the market for a little over three years. Afterburner Climax is a visual update to their old school arcade game. The original Afterburner came out in 1987 and was a worldwide success. This is easily the best 3D interpretation of the series ever made. I never bought it. I was able to find my downloaded trial on my 360 profile. You only get to access the first few missions, so I did what I could to show you the game. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. There's not a lot to the gameplay, but it looks fantastic and it plays well for what it is. You get a branching storyline and over 20 stages. A single playthrough only takes you about 30 or 40 minutes, but you'll need several runs before you end up seeing it all. So why was it delisted? Well, at a certain point, Sega decided to use real licenses for their vehicles in some of their games, namely OutRun and Afterburner. Rockstar and most other companies know to just create knockoffs instead of trying to renew and keep up with multiple licensed vehicles. For Afterburner Climax, someone at Sega had the bright idea to get real licenses for all the aircraft, the F-14 Tomcat, the F-5, the A-10 Thunderbolt 2, and a few more. So now they need to renew contracts with at least four different companies every few years. Boeing, McDonnell Douglas, North American Aviation, not to mention all the product markings and logos. It's a shame this game is gone, but hey, if it pops up somewhere else, you might want to check it out. If you want to watch the main video that this segment was taken from, I play every Xbox Live arcade game part one, well, you can click on the entire thing over on the left side of the screen. Or you can check the playlist on the right side for more content and more stuff that's in that series. As always, thanks for watching.